Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Every night, millions of moms and grandmoms around the world read children's stories before bedtime. During the wolf on the roof, the third little pig was quick to light a fire. But for this grandmother of two, nightly readings of the three little pigs is a ritual reserved for her own personal enjoyment. The wolf's tail was badly scorched. She ran from the house and into the woods howling. Because Sharon Reynolds is completely obsessed with pigs. I've been collecting pigs for almost 40 years now. We have over 6,000 pieces in our house, and they have sort of just taken over everything. Her collection sprawls across the living room. About 15 years ago, we had it remodeled, and I said I wasn't going to have any pigs in here. I don't know what happened. Got out of control. To the bedroom. My bed is, of course, a pig theme here. I have several quilts. I've had to make these, though, because you can't buy a pig quilt. To the bathroom. Here we even shower with pigs. You can see them all in there. We even have a shower head that's a pig. I have tried to stop, to at least slow down the collection of pigs. I just explained to her, I said, Sharon, we don't have enough money for a bigger house. And you don't have enough wall space left. I do have ceilings still that I can put stuff on. <laughs> But my husband might think I was a little nuts. <laughs> he might tell his co-workers that his wife is done slipped over the edge <laughs> with the pig thing. Sharon spends up to 15 hours a week searching for swine on her computer or in stores to add to her growing collection. I think about my collection every hour when I'm out shopping, looking at things. If I find a pig, got to have it. A lot of times they're not big expenses, but it's kind of like getting pelted to death with popcorn. Over a period of time, if you have $105 pigs, it's still $500. With the sheer number of pigs in her house, Sharon spends up to two hours daily compulsively cleaning her massive collection. Dirty little pigs. When I was a teenager, I did not invite people over to my house because of the pigs. <laughs> As I've gotten older, I embrace it. There's, there's a little bit of crazy in everybody in our family. You got your Heine print right there on the shelf. Sharon's love affair started in 1973, when she met her first real pig. I used to work as a teacher's aide in a kindergarten, and the teacher one day brought a pig in and had it in a playpen. And she said, it'll be up to you to take care of it. And I said, well, I don't mind. I kind of liked pigs. That year for Christmas, I got my first two pigs. And then I got obsessed and started looking. Every time I go somewhere, I look for a pig. For years, Sharon's family has tolerated her obsession with pigs, but she's about to push their boundaries to a new level. Does anyone in your family have any known allergies to pigs? No? No. <laughs> After months of research, Sharon has decided to fulfill a dream she's had since the age of 23, to adopt a real live pig. Everyone in agreement in the decision with adopting a pig. Are yeah, you real okay. sure about this? I'm not real sure, but if I think you are. Well, you have to be sure too. You're the daddy. Well, I'm sure that you're sure. I'm not really excited about having Sharon have a real pig in the house. She would have to deal with it. Okay, I'm putting yes. That means you said yes. Do you have adequate time to love for love and affection? Yes. yes. For the pig, not the husband. Yes. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the piggy to come. Sharon has been preparing for the impending arrival of her new baby pig. Whether it's a boy or a girl, I don't care. I'm going to name it Sally. She's completely pig-proofed her house. Keep that little piggy away from the sockets. And even built a special home for the piglet in her backyard. It was inspired by the book, Three Little Pig. I like that story a whole lot, so I thought that Sally should have a chance to pick which house she wants to live in. I've been waiting for this baby as long as I waited for my other kids. We are going shopping to a baby store to find some things for the piggy to wear. I love to dress my dogs, and I'm sure that I'm going to love even more dressing my pig. So I am really excited about going to the store and finding all kinds of cute little things to put on a little piggy. We are looking for a swaddling cloth, maybe, and okay. a t-shirt. Were you looking for someone in particular? Well, we're going to get a baby pig. 
Baby pig? <laughs> yes, the baby pig. <laughs> okay. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. That'll be cute for your new egg. That's a pretty good size, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, that's big. That was the first time I heard that. There's, uh, someone was shopping for gifts for a pig. <laughs> Congratulations, and well, good luck with you. your new baby pig. Thank, thank you very you. much. With thank gifts you. in hand, Sharon and Steve now head to the farm, where Sharon will learn for the first time which pig will be going home with her. If this is something she wants and she can handle, the decision is still hers because she's going to be the one that has to live with it. And you're in charge of potty training. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're so good at that. I've heard they're very, very easy to potty train. I hope that she is pink, because I like pink pigs more than I like the black ones. But if she were black or polka dotted or whatever, I would still love her, because I'm just really excited about having a real pig. Hi. We're the Reynolds here. We came to look at pig. Excellent. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. Carrie. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, nice to meet you guys. Come on back. OK. I'm so excited. <laughs> There's all kinds of pigs here. This That's is a cute. farm hog. Oh my gosh. Aren't those cute? So they really? get as big as her? Yes, they will get as I big as her. I don't think we want that. A little bit much, huh? But I'll yeah. tell you what, the best pet pig, pot bellies. This little guy is 11 months old. He is probably only going to end up being probably about 100 pounds full grown. So would you like to get in and say hi? He really I loves love Cheerios. To. I would love to. I'm dying to get in and say hi. There you go. I think you're making a new friend. Yes. Come on, we can take you home. You're going to be our baby now. Yeah, we're going to have a little baby pig at home. Sharon, are you, are you sure you want to do this right now? I mean, we could come visit. This little thing wants to come home with us. If this is something she wants and she can handle, as long as it doesn't get me in trouble with the law, I'm fine. Well, everybody will have to find out their, their pecking order in the home. <laughs> I've already figured it out, dear. 25 <laughs> years, I figured it out. So Sally's the one? Sally's the one. She's going to be a very, very happy piggy. <laughs> I'm going to be a very happy mommy. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw Sally, I just thought, this is the baby for me. I just wanted her. You ready? ready. <laughs> Once Sally is carefully wrapped up in her new swaddling blanket and secured in the car, the new parents head home to introduce the little bundle to the rest of the family. Hi, guys. Look at this. What I got? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I'm going to meet Sally. Oh, I can tell you guys are going to be good friends. Huh? <laughs> out of house. Oh, here the she goes. She's finding the, the brick house. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I told you she was going to take the brick one. Yeah, that's a smart pig. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma Sharon had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, she had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink, oink, there and oink, oink, there. Sally, look at what we have for you. Mmm, nummy, huh? We're going to share this, Sally, OK? <laughs> I think that the new addition to the family is a little crazy, her bringing this pig home. That's a step above and beyond her normal crazy. Oh, oh, that is sweet piggy. That is sweet little piggy. Yes, you are, aren't you? That's a good piggy. After years of dreaming about it and months of preparation, Sharon has finally added her first real pig to her massive collection. I love them, so everybody else should, too. The big bad wolf never bothered those pigs anymore. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Night-night, Sally. I'm so glad you came to live with us. 